Welcome back, my humanoids, to the ship by Kosh Sardas. I'm your Captain Mercury here, here to entertain you. And let's have a conversation. A new formula has been discovered, oh, humanoids. One that I am so excited for. And I have been waiting for, for decades. Do you hear that, humanoids? The old titan has fallen. And a new titan has risen. And you know who that titan is? This is video game, TV shows, and movies. That seem to be on the rise. Listen, hear me out, okay? It's really early. This is like in the beginning, like the first Iron Man movie, where it all started. We'll compare, we'll compare the first Iron Man movie to The Last of Us. In no particular order, The Witcher. The Witcher was a banger for Netflix. People know Henry Cavill for two things, The Witcher or Superman. The reason the Netflix was a banger, right casting. And the biggest and most important thing, source material when you're using a gaming ip property just know that the fan base expects to see a good 70 to 60 percent if not more of the game they love presented in a tv show or movie format netflix did it very well and Henry cavill surprisingly was the best choice like they hit gold but they fucked that up but it didn't last long oh i'll get back to that a show that didn't fuck up their golden ticket, that not only surpassed every expectation from the people who love this franchise, but probably brought in new viewers as well. Last of Us by HBO Max. Ugh. Amazing. Top tier. All of it. All of it. Premium shit. Casting. Perfect. Scenery. Perfect. Literal stills of, of moments from the game. That odd and ooed us in the beginning when we first played Last of Us. Story, on point, changes and add-ons to keep it fresh. Individuals who played Last of Us over and over again were still clenching their ass. She's out of fear and tension. If I had to give the trophy, it would be to Last of Us. Detective Pikachu was a sleeper hit and was all our child selves could have asked for. On a lesser note, depending on who you are, Super Mario was a hit. Critics didn't seem to love it, but moviegoers say, ah, fuck you, what do you know? If I remember, the ratings were like in the 90s. The humanoids loved it, even with the in everything ever made now Chris Pratt. That didn't seem to ruin it much. I mean, but moviegoers didn't mind. Okay, okay. For the franchise that gamers bullied an entire studio for millions of dollars to change. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog. This will be the only time where bullying worked out for everyone. For the fans, for the studio. I do not condone bullying. We don't condone bullying. But it worked this one time. Enough so that fans loved it and it got a sequel. So it all worked out in the end, okay? Because I know you guys are going to mention it. Let's get to the shit. Because for every Witcher season one... There's an Uncharted. The Uncharted movie that was in development hell. And when it finally came out, Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland, yes, Spider-Man, could not save it. Not even a little bit. It being in development hell should have told us, though. That usually doesn't work out for whatever is being delayed. I know for this one, your guys are going to want to skin me a lot. I want to keep my skin. But these are my opinions. We can have them. All but one of the Resident Evil movies. I know they're called classics because how, for how bizarre and over the top they are. But it's nothing like the games, which, okay, I'll give you that. Resident Evil is actually based off a book before the games. But it was all over the place, making unnecessary changes. And when they, do con when they did put in the characters or some storylines, it felt like they were all disrespected. What they did to Leon, what they did to Ada, what they did to Claire, all that, all that. I truly felt like they only put them in there to satisfy the fans because maybe from what it seemed like, this Resident Evil was never meant to be like the games, but yet they still, in the, in the first Resident Evil, which is the only one that I will give credit to because that shit was mind-blowing when it first came out. It still had elements of Resident Evil from the game, so people definitely thought that maybe that maybe it was related to the games. It should have, it should have been one standoff standalone because Resident Evil 1 is a classic. The movie is a classic. 
and is the only one that stands up any of the other bazillion movies they have. The Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter movies that came out in the 90s, I believe? You don't know what it is? Look it up. You'll be very entertained. Don't know where to put this, but don't know if it's good or going to fail. But the Fallout TV show for Amazon. The pictures look great. The stage looks great. But as we've learned from cinematic game trailers, we need to see gameplay, okay? All this finessing is not going to do shit. Show me how it actually functions. Show me a clip. Because the pictures don't say everything. The studio can look amazing, but everything else, script, casting, subpar. Really hard to tell also because everything Bethesda makes can be either a hit or a miss. And lately they've been missing. Usually things they're involved with come out broken. It like And Bethesda is was one of my favorite game studios. I don't know right now. And just to throw it out there, I really don't trust Amazon like at all. Let's go back to The Witcher. The Witcher was the standard, the rubric, and had a dominance over what gaming entertainment and media from movies to shows could look like. But then they decided, hey, we don't want to follow the game anymore. And Harry Campbell's like, all right, peace, because that's why I was invested anyway. And he, he took all the fans with him. The Witcher fans are now attached to Harry Campbell as the Witcher. Like, he is the Witcher. <laughs> Gaming fans are rowdy. They will fucking let you know. They are vicious when it comes to their favorite IPs. They are. They're just foaming at the mouth. <sighs> Look. For every Last of Us, there's gonna be a WoW. Yeah, remember the WoW movie? And lately, superhero mo movies and shows have not been hitting, have not been doing it. Listen, they haven't been doing it for me for like 10 years. But more, I hear more people talking about gaming shows and movies that are out or coming out than superheroes. Because the fatigue is real. And I'm excited for this new, I'm excited for this new genre of TVs and shows. Because this is what I, this is what I have been waiting for. Superhero genre is never gonna go away. Like, it's probably on phase like 12 right now. You'll correct me. I know you will. It is the gamer's turn. So, my humanoids. Thank you for having this conversation with me and letting me rant. Let me know down below, because I know you will. Thank you for joining me on the Stardust. Do all the like and subscribe things. No pressure, though. We're just chilling. We're just having a conversation. I have all my social medias down below. I get more personal on Instagram if that's something that interests you. Do good things, for goodness sake. Mercury out.